it's important for doctors to build trust with the Inuit patients because they are leaving home. They're getting on an airplane and traveling for about three hours minimum and going into a foreign place. They may not understand the English language very well. Everything's a new experience and it's a very different setting for them and it could be a daunting experience for them. Inuit have a history of feeling mistreated with the relocation. They were moved away from their survival places. Uh, children were sent to residential schools and there was medical patients that were sent for tuberculosis treatment and never came back. These experiences have created a culture of skepticism whenever it comes to medical travel or anything to do with medical. So some ways a doctor could build trust with the Inuit patient is to talk slowly and to use simple language. Don't confuse silence or little eye contact as non-engagement. Pay attention to non-verbal communication. They might raise their eyebrows to give a yes answer or squinch their nose for a no and shrug their shoulders for I don't know or they don't understand. You want to ask questions because you want to get a straight answer of a yes or a no so if they understand then you know they got the message. Try not to ask repetitive questions. You might try to learn the language. A little goes a long way even if you learn to say can we be? Ask them, how are you? So I try to not use medical jargon when speaking. I try to speak clear. If I'm uncertain, if they understand me, I ask them to repeat what I've said or to, I stop midway and ask, can you, can you tell me if you have any questions? I try not to go too fast. I anticipate appointments will take longer and that's okay. I need to make sure that they understand, not just for their own care and planning, but also for their safety. I really think it's important to have a good understanding of culture, uh, the culture, the language, and even showing, uh, by, by having knowledge about the culture, you're showing respect. You're showing respect for the person and uh, for the family unit. Uh, my ways of connecting uh, with my new Patients include knowing, uh, knowing greetings, unisukut, uh, <laughs> and uh, practicing uh, different words. And the patients that I see, the families that I take care of, they're okay if I don't say things perfectly. And I use that as an opportunity to learn. The role of the interpreter is much more than just interpreting. You need to know when to ask for an interpreter. Sometimes, a patient may not believe they need that, and that's part of having that communication and having things repeated back to you if you're unsure if they understand. From a health perspective, um, it's important to know that the care you're giving them is, is understood and received and you're on the same uh, page and you're able to collaborate. They advise physicians on ways to improve communication with Inuit families. They help explain medical terminology in the Inuktitut language. They ensure for a better understanding between doctors and patients as they help both to understand each other. They create comfort for the client through connection to their culture. The Inuit community work together and support one another by going with the Inuit Kauyi Mayatokanyi principles. So a man might go hunting, he's not only going to bring that food he hunted for himself, he's going to share it within the community. So if a person needs to go out for medical and parents or somebody inside the family are not available to go because there's other needs, a close friend might come and step in and help in that way. The doctor might be talking to uh, biological parents or it could be adoptive parents. It could be one of the siblings in the family or any other family member such as an aunt or an uncle or even a family friend. So the role and responsibility of the escort is to support the patient, to have the proper information for family 
and to pass on the knowledge that they learn if needed and to work together with the family. Regardless of who your patient is, you always require consent. There are extra barriers to acquiring consent when you may have a non-English language speaking client or a client that does not speak your language. In that case, you'd wanna bring in an interpreter. If there's a concern about their ability to consent, about their capacity to consent to a medical procedure or any care that you're giving to them. You will want to check who the legal guardian is on the electronic health record. Your patient might not be here with their legal guardian. Their escort may be who was available at that moment when they had to leave their home community or when they had to come for their medical appointment. If their legal guardian is not with them, you can contact them directly. If having trouble acquiring consent, you can contact OSNI, Nunavut Family Services, or their local health center. So being a medical patient, having to travel away from home, uh, it could be very boring for the person because they are feeling trapped in their rooms. Uh, they don't know what the next steps are. Um, they're worried about their health. They're away from family and culture shock. Um, coming into a big city could be intimidating. Everything's different. There's a lot of different rules. Um, there's a lot of different things happening and it's a fast-paced world. I'm a social systems navigator. What I do is I provide support for patients. And patients that are here for a long term, I might give respite so that the parent could have a little break from their child. We provide cultural programs to the patients that are staying at Larga, and we connect patients to other Inuit-specific services in Ottawa. There are other organizations that provide Inuit-specific systems navigation, such as Tungna Sugvingat Inuit, Inu Katigit, and the Akausivik Inuit Family Health Team. When wrapping up an appointment, be specific and clear about what the next steps are. Some things I do include writing out the steps, making sure that if there are any extra resources they need, including wraparound resources, they have whatever information they need with them. I try to get hard copies or I'll write it out for them. Thank you for doing your part in providing quality care for Inuit patients, their escorts, and their families while they're here in Ottawa.